regardless of the outcome of this event. It just depends on where they end. Whereas for T1, Johnny Well going down to Jackie for first blood. Point TP in as they might go for play hard. They've brought Cuckoo over. They've got the kinetic field. Jackie jumps, play hard, getting really low, hit by that whirling death. Run from this timber, and now Jabil's being caught, stifling dagger. There's the shackles, but Jabil's just standing in the chakram, getting hit by Jackie, and he's got another kill. Stifling dagger again on a play hard. They want to continue to chase. They've got Carl over here, who does have Dream Coil. He'll drop it, and they'll get a second farm, and uh, that's exactly what's happening. White Mon caught, but they've got Carl in. Static Storm and the Dream Coil on it, too. Nice little combo there that should net them at least one. We'll get the second of Januel. You've got Playhard who's still having a decent game. You, know, you can see that he's way in front of where Carl was. Ooh, Blade oh, Mail and that the duel. Target, you want a duel. Oh boy, at least you're not giving away dual damage. What the hell are that? Oh, I'll go after this Razor and they've got the Serpent Wards as well as the Supernova down. Jackie's gonna fight into this, but they get the kill on Atsumi. Static Storm is in, roll forward, looking for Debeal, and the Magnetize out into both these supports. They'll try and run the Shadow Shaman away, but three heroes down on the side of Nia. I believe that's a full Spirit Vessel. Coming over, Icarus dive away, Kuku spotting them. They've gotten a glimpse on a play hard, who will be hit with the Static Storm, pops the Blade Mail, but that's not going to do enough. And now Natsumi as well as Januel were trying to help. Blue Januel, they look over at Natsumi, who's got the Static Link. They have the Shackle with the Sun follow-up from Yopaj. They'll get Kuku. Roll forward, look for Debeal, and now they've got the Silence on it too. The glimpse back. They may have actually saved Natsumi's life for a second, but Jackie's there with a crit and a kill. They'll look over and throw a dagger at Debeal and get himself a second. Fuck needs to be a bit more careful. Ooh, good you know, pack. playing, playing into that pack. See, that should be a dual damage. It's going to be close, just not in time. They do get the kill. Kind of struggling, and he understands like it's much better to max out the sun rate. Hex. They caught him. Duel, is it going to come in after the silence? No. Dyer's middle tower is yeah. under attack. There's that Yule's used by Cuckoo, so now you don't have a blade mail when you're fighting into the duel. You may not feel confident in taking the fight, but Supernova, White Monk close. Close enough, and now the Storm gets on this. They've got the roll in, and damage coming through on an Atsumi with the BKB being popped here by Jackie. They've got the Dream Coil on the other side of the fight drop down on both supports on the side of Neon, and they're going to take them both out with play hard. Oh man, they're getting outplayed so hard right now. Waning rift there from Carl avoids the duel with the Blade Mail once again, so it's not the first time that play hard's missed that. Coil. Sit Chakram right on top. Play hard getting glimpsed back. But here's the Alchemist just trying to right click. He doesn't really do that much damage. He looks over at Zephyr, who's dropped down the Magnetize. Supernova's in an okay spot. Maybe not the best. So the BKB pop here by Jackie. They'll start to chase this Venom Assassin, but the Supernova goes off. And now it's time for T1 to reinitiate. They'll go after Natsumi as well as Januel. Timber Chain all the way across. Have the glimpse with the Stifling Dagger. Double kill for Jackie. Alchemist is caught. Triple for Jackie. You know, there's not really much of an answer from Neon, especially once they use everything and they're on the run and these are the results jackie just gets out. they're fighting one once again cuckoo getting hit with the sunray static link damage coming out starting to build up but behind them is the earth spirit last field finally finishes off cuckoo charge charged up but the stun does not get off from the hands of the alchemist they get the kill on as well as Debeal and now alive. is just trying to go they through bring him down an 8k split basically between four other heroes quite a bit now they'll get the duel but there's the glimpse can they get the kill here and they will zephyr he's minus stand. he can't get one shot at might just blow up, and now they're going to try and fight this. They've got the smoke to blink forward. Carl with the Dream Coil down on two as well as the Waiting Rift with the BKB being popped by Natsumi. They'll get the Supernova down. It's actually in a decent spot. This might blow up and hit Jackie, and they've got him in the Good duel. duel. Supernova comes in with the Sunray. They get the kill on the Jackie. They'll look over for the rest as the roll comes out on the Debeal. Static Storm nicely placed on a two, but the Abyssal Blade is used by Yopaj. Yopaj gets in onto the Earth Spirit of Zephyr. White Mon gone. Debeal dead. He'll buy back now. Zephyr. He'll fall. Three heroes dead. Stun comes in on the cuckoo. They'll chase. Oh they'll my bash, god, that attack kill. speed and bashes. 
Scan comes out from the Dire, not going to spot anybody. We'll see how T1 move, though. If they come out of this high ground, they might lose some of these heroes. Oh, this is dangerous. For the duel, play hard, blinks in, play mail pop. Yules up in the air, though, from you. White Mon, he used himself. Static Storm in an interesting spot as the Supernova's on the back line. Three heroes to try and take this out. They've got the duel, but they just don't have a way to stop them from blowing up this egg. They still got the Kona White Mon as well. Zephyr, they look over this puck and kill off Carl. But here comes Cuckoo, here comes Jackie. Down goes Playhard, down goes Deveal. And Natsumi, his BKB is over. However, Yopaj, his isn't, and he still wants to go for Cuckoo for a second until he realizes that he should probably get back. I love the AC pickup. He understands I need to make my team a bit more tanky against the fence. Ooh, Ooh, going it. after Cuckoo. Static Storm already used, but the BKB comes out from Yopaz. They've got the duel. He timber chained away, but it's not going to keep him from going down and losing this duel. Roll onto the back line. Zephyr comes in with the Geomagnetic Grip as well as the Boulder Smash onto the Phoenix as now. Oh, Bash was thinking that Zephyr was going to roll, so he blinked away, but they'll still get the kill on his effort. Not soon he gets credit for that one. They'll use the Supernova for, um, for Yopaz. Puck is in. There's the bash. Oh, God, oh the my bash God, they blew him up. Horrell, he'll get credit for that one, but Jackie did the heavy lifting and they get the kill on the Alchemist. They might even look to chase. Radiant I'm going to say probably take the game, but, uh, you know, there it is. First jump. Yeah, jump through. They've got the duel. They'll get the kill on a Zephyr. He does a buyback. I expect that he'd want to use it if they're going to fight, but the Serpent Ward's out. Roche can't This Roche taken. goes down so quickly. Minus armor from Acid Spray, AC. They're going to fight June Coil as well as the BKB gets popped with the Blade Mail, and the Static Storm is down, but the damage coming out of Debeal from Jackie. They'll get the kill on the Shadow Shaman looking over now with the Phantom Assassin. He's getting bashed up by Yopaj, who goes in with the BKB. He does not have his ulti at the moment, and the BKB is about to run out in a second. Carl with the Minotaur Horn. He's staying invulnerable for a second, but they get the kill on a play hard. They look over at Yopaj. They blocked down the Alchemist. They've got a magnetized and the Spirit Vessel. Enough damage to kill off the Alk. The question is, do you want to give up this Roche? Are you going to hold buyback? I mean, Januel, he is dead and Debeel. Ah, uh, there's the dust. He's gone too. So that's a dieback from Debeel. Uh, kind of surprised that Neon decided to go inside a bit. They used Alchemist ulti, so he did not have it in the fight. Two minutes left on Aegis. Let's, they, they go through mid. And yeah, they want to go through a different way. First hit bash. Trouble here for this Razor. Already dead. 100 seconds gone. Duel is used. And look at the crits come out. Play hard gone. He's got buyback. Supernova goes off. Serpent Ward's down. Yopaj trying to do as much damage as he can. He gets a lock on Cuckoo. <laughs> on what their Ags does. Except Disruptor. Yeah, it's just mute items. items. Period. They're going to jump in and just blow up Yopaj immediately. Still not buying back. Are they willing to give up Megas? No, they're not. They're going to go in and they're going to try and get this fight. They buff back on the Alchemist. Not super trying to run with BKB, but the damage is in. Is it enough? Supernova goes off. They'll get the stun here onto Zephyr. Zephyr caught with the shackles, and they'll get the kill here onto Zephyr. He doesn't have buyback. They'll go after Jackie, who's forced to go and jaunt away with the blink strike. Trying to get the cheese in. Doesn't gone. get it. Six times spree is gone, and he's got buyback. But the question is, is it even worth buying back? Cuckoo, he's dead too. Gone for 97 seconds. Three heroes end of the side of T1. 30k down. He just killed the Phantom Assassin twice. Sounds simple. Out taking some Radiant annoying damage from the puck there with the E-Blade Dagon. That third left. God, swift 20 like seconds, man. It, you know, it, uh, if you're oh, Phantom you Assassin here, you can feel oh, like the time force. is slowing down. Of course he is. That They need to buy back. Three buy back straight away. Static Storm that's going to be down. It mutes your items. You're in trouble, Out. Uh-oh. There you go. Popping like a pinata. Dropping the Divine Rapier. Going after Natsumi. Getting the kill on the Razor. Both gone without buyback. Playing way too far forward. And all four will die and should make it a fifth. Is it a Rampage? No, it's not. But it's GG called. And T1 will take game one. On top of the net worth by quite a margin. His first blood is up. Uh, picked up by Debeel on White Mod. Smoked up bottom. They should be able to find Cuckoo. The question is, do they have the damage to get the kill? Snowball comes in. Dragon Tail used. And now they've got the sounds from the Waning Rift. They'll follow that up with the Crypt Swarming. Secure that kill onto Cuckoo. <laughs> They're just going to look on and watch it fall. Yopaj 
gets crit for illusory orb, jaunts over, Whitemon, well, the snowball does not catch him, but now there's the freezing field, they've got the silence from the way it ripped. Brief fire is out, and Cuckoo goes into the Elder Dragon form. They're focusing their attention on the play hard, who gets hit by that lasso and killed off. Again, aggression biting Neon. Nice. They're not going to lose just one. It's hard, you know, playing into Io's Tether, Snowball, Aquatic Shield. Spot Cuckoo. And Coil comes in, snaps it on the run. Snowball lands. They've got the Walrus Punch, the Spirit Siphon, and everybody here from the side of Neon to get the kill into Cuckoo. Puck going straight into Spirit Vessel to get be able to deal with the Dragonite and, and Monkey. Dream Coil. They've got the catch on to Carl. Again, Debuel and Playhard just loading up together and getting a quick kill. Feel that D1 is ready to take a fight on Neon. And items like that, they're starting to pile up. Io, Helm of the Dominator, Aghanim, oh, Scepter, Blink Dagger. Oh, they've got the Tether and the Rio. Okay, Waymon's used that Freezing Field, but it doesn't accrue them anything. Debuel going after Cuckoo, Spirit Vessel on the Dragonite. Rotations coming over from the side of Neon. They're going to be back any second, ready to go. Hex used on Yoposh. Snowball comes in and a white mount again. He's trying to TP out, but the Walrus Punch is not too many spirits. And right clicks will get the kill. They've got the Yules onto the Lion. They'll catch themselves a second. Silent onto the Lion. Spirit Siphon there. And eventually Zephyr to fall. Deader, a lot of heal. Uh, very, very hard to hear those to kill overall. Then you have a snowball from Tusk, Coil again. Yeah, Coil again used on to the Dragonite Spirit Vessel. That's on top of DK2. Spirit Siphon and a Crypt Swarm. That's the finishing blow needed for Yopaj to get a kill on a Cuckoo. It's time to take some more towers. See if that's exactly what they can go after as Waymon gets caught again. Silence, but he's got that full whip. Good use of the illusion rune there by Yopash to keep up with White Mon. He's looking for a Scotty next. This is a Yopash. Big up if they can get it. Yeah, he's been caught. Wukongs looking for the balance strike at the finger from Zephyr. They'll get themselves the second stack on the finger of Death Kills. Dream Coil used. That lands on a Zephyr. So they'll at least get one in return, but a big kill there onto the Death Prophet. See how long that is. Play hard. Snowball, Walrus, Bunch with the shards. Trying to get a kill here on a white mod who goes into the freezing field. We'll have that extra armor, breathe fire, lose reorb. Out from Debeel to get the kill on a white mom. He is dead for the sixth, sixth time. Silence. Got a rough one for him. Can't blame him considering the heroes he's playing against. Coming over, Walrus Punch. Carl caught. BKB's been popped. He's going to try and run. They got the stun out onto the DK. They'll pop the Exorcism. The chase is on. Freezing field on the back lines of this fight. In an interesting spot that's not going to garner any kills. Full whip to try and run. Picks up a bounty for his troubles. White Mon might just be dead again. Right click's coming in from this tusk, but the tag team popped, and Debeel gets the kill on a White Mon. Pops the Lincolns, but Causes was not lose. close enough to actually use that. Uh, Initiation with the lasso. They want to make the jump. The Dream Coil comes in. That's out on a white mom with the Wukong's command getting used, but the BKB is there. They're going to relocate back. They'll so disengage. Silence on to the DK. They're thinking about fighting him, but they don't want to fight into the Wukong's command just here with the lasso hitting on an Atsumi. There's the stun. Freezing field. Do they have the damage? It doesn't look like it. To feel though, he ends up dead. They'll get the kill in his everything. Look over a white man and Cuckoo who are low on health. Jackuel trying to run. Botic shield. Borrowed time not available. Three heroes dead. Play hard. Gone too. Available. On Roshan, so Monkey just changes his item build also Ooh, to look a at this wrap from Neon. They're gonna go in on the Jackie. They've got the silence as well as the Warwick's punch. The BKB off. popped here by the Monkey King. There's the lasso used on it to Beal. Wukong's command comes down. They're gonna get the kill on the snowball. Look over as the freezing field is used, but the silence comes down to the crystal main. They get the kill on a white man. They look over as the exorcism is running through these heroes on the side of T1. They're chasing after Jackie, who used an early BKB. They get the kill on a Jackie. They look over a Cuckoo. The two man stun comes out from this Zephyr Lion, and that saves the DK. They're going to the high ground once again. You're going to pop that exorcism. Try to make something happen. Jack is the proper positioning to come in through here, but they've got the lasso coming out of the Death Prophet. Natsumi stays with him, and they will relocate out. The Borrow Tom gets popped. They've got the Hex on Yopaj as well as the Balance Strike, but he's outside the circle with BKB being popped by Yopaj. They'll turn this one around. The Snowball all the way through. Going after Goku. Trying to get the kill into the DK. The Dream Core comes in with both the Monkey King as well as this Crystal Maiden. They've got the Walrus Punch on a Jackie. They look over at the Crystal Maiden as well. They took out Jackie. They took out Cuckoo, and now they'll find themselves White Mom with the spirits. 
Oh, the angel skins over to the side of the Dustin's after he dies as Yopaz gets the kill. The buyback is used by the Monkey King as White Mon, so Jackie trying to still fight as they have the gun and the deal. No buyback available on the puck. Carl starting to run as he pops the BKB, but the damage being done on Jackie. And he so much healing. He's not really getting away with much. Not Zumi X in trouble. And the time that with the first life. They take out Jackie. He's gone for the second time. Get for 113 seconds as they look over at White Mon who gets blocked by the shards. Fight! Your fours and Octarine Core picked up for Carl. Just haven't felt his presence. Good stun from Zephyr. Where's your follow up? Monkey King still dead for 47 seconds. The Walrus Punch comes out on a white man. He is obliterated off the map. And now they've got the Dream Coil down onto the Bat Rider who snaps it. And that's with the gag. So he's stunned even though he's got the BKB. GG is called. T1 drop game two. And Neon, even the series with complete and utter domination of this second game. And now we'll get to deny on both of the range creeps, which is pretty big. I'm getting pressured. Debio goes for this jaunts on him. Looking for White Mon. Phase shift for a second fairy a fire thunder dead. strike. Debio already used that phase shift, so he's just giving up a kill here to White Mon. Got Yopaj up towards top. Well, they're going to spot Cuckoo, and they've got a kick, but Exorcism coming in from Carl. They're going to try and rotate in. They've got the duel used. They should be able to get the kill into the D Dragon Knight. They'll get Cuckoo, lose jean -Uel. Carl gets credit for that. They're chasing while he's using Exorcism. The Magnetize is on, but how far do you want to chase into this? They have some rotations coming in. Boulder Smash hits on a White Mon. That slows down this Disruptor, but it's not going to stop him from getting the glimpse off on a play hard. He uses the press of the attack and the overwhelming odds, but not enough to survive. Could be a fight 3v2. Yeah, this spell was called Breath of Fire before. Now it's called Green Fire. Dream Coil used on to Carl. They've got the stun coming in, as well as that Vendetta shot. And that's the kick outside of the Dream Coil, but they can't get the kill on Carl. The Spirit Safe and keep him alive. They've got the Static Storm as well as the Thunder Strike on Jean Noel. They should be able to get the kill on the third strike on that. They'll reapply the Magnetize. They'll go after White Mon. Hit the roll on to Carl. They get White Mon. They should get Carl. Magnetize reapplied once again with the Geomagnetic Grip that silences up Carl for a second. He's so low and finally ticks out as the waning rift comes in from Deville. So he's got the Maelstrom. He's sitting about a level behind this Wraith King. Cuckoo goes into the Elder Dragon form. They've got the Spike Carapace. That'll stun up Cuckoo for a second, but the Dragon Tail as well as the Sunray that's right on Jean Duel gets kicked by Yopage into a safer area, but they've got the Glimpse on a play hard once again. So they're looking to lock down this Legion. Oh, three oh, man good stun! Roll. And the roll with the Magnetize. There's the duel. What a turnaround. Static Storm is out, but it's not going to be there with the Kinetic Field, so they're not locked in it. But Jackie comes over. The Spike Carapace popped again. That's going to set up the Dragon Knight a second time. The Wraith Fire Blast thrown over to Januel. Cuckoo and Jackie have to retreat. They're on the high ground, T1. They'll spot not Tsumi. They've got the Static Storm as well as the Sunray right on top of him. Press the attack, trying to keep him alive, but it's not looking likely. He burns out. They're fighting into the Exorcism. Play hard. Uh, steps up out of the high ground. Yopaj rolls out of the high ground. And now they've got the Supernova right on top of him. They've stunned him up with a Dragon Tail. All three die. White on falls to Genuel. Question is, can he retreat in time? They've got the Yules, Icarus time, and a silence on him. That's not likely. Four heroes dead on Neon, taking a very ill-advised fight. Coil used bottom. That's onto the Phoenix. Trying to catch him within the trees. They've got the duel. Should have dual damage. They will. Smoke out from Neon. Smoke's going to break. Both teams are using smoke. They've got the Dream Coil out on to this Death Prophet. Looking for the Spike Carapace, but that doesn't stop the Sunray. Supernova Static Storm coming in all on top of these heroes on the side of Neon. They get the kill on the play hard. Again, he's just not having a fun time in this game. Supernova goes off. They'll try to retreat on Neon, only losing the Legion Commander thus far. Not soon with the TP out. Januel. He has lucky. Ooh, glimpse on the roll. Yopaj caught. Not sure he has a way out of this one. Sunray on top. Yeah, Carl now dominating. 7K lead. He doesn't care too much about the uh, no receiving. Another yeah, smoke. His combo. Elder Dragon form is pop. They've got the stun on the Cuckoo. The damage is there pretty quickly. The Supernova gets used. Do they have the ability to kill this? They might. The right quick start coming in. The silences are out, but it's not enough to stop them from blowing up the egg. They get the kill on a two, and they'll look for the rest. White Mon on the run. Crypt Swarm there, but the roll out from Yopaj. With the Thunder Strike, Jackie TPs in. But press the attack comes out as the Wraith Fire Blast is thrown at the direction of this Earth Spirit. Yopaj, silence, can't roll away, and he's just right clicked down by Jackie. Troll will pop his BKB. Ooh, going for more. To TP out. Genuel, Spike Carapace, two Another glimpse is ready. If they can catch, play hard possibly. They're just going to go for the safe kill. 
Yeah, I love how T1 is taking a fight even though they're outnumbered. They lost to two heroes. They're still chasing. Yeah, they want this Legion commander who has stayed a little bit too close. Right click's coming in. There's another Ray Fire Blast for you and a Crypt Swarm. As well, Natsumi's top taking the tier one of his own. They're going to glyph the tier two. Does Natsumi TP back? No, he's not going to be able to do so. Cuckoo's TP'd over here while bottom. Ooh, they've got themselves the Static Storm. That's out onto this Wraith King. They get the Aegis out of his hands. Now they got to look to kill him again. No man and again. So he will get another reincarnation. They just Dual damage? Him. Yeah, they've got it. Team is just, you know, you're in a tough spot. You've got to die three times. Wow. That's big. They should be ready to go on this. Play hard. He does have the Blink Dagger, Blade Mail Pop going after the DK, but there's White Mom with the Static Storm. I think they still have the damage. They do just in time. Exorcism gets popped. They've got the Silence on of the Legion Commander. Yules up into the air. The damage coming out onto the Nyx Assassin. They'll get the gun to Januel. They'll look over at Playhard, who's still running from this Exorcism. Press the attack. Overwhelming odds. Not going to be enough to get him out of the hands of this Death Prophet. The Troll. So they want to come in. They want to make something happen, potentially. They take the tier two tower, they go for the outpost. The duel is used, but these heroes are going to come over very quickly. I don't know if Playhard wants to go for this. The Static Storm comes in with a Yopaj roll. Magnetized down, silence out onto the Wraith King, but Yopaj gets the roll off. They get the Kona Whitemon. They're going to lose effort. There are two heroes down on the side of T1. They're going to buy back on the Phoenix. They'll look over at Cuckoo, who's hit with Magnetized, and the Dream Coil comes out of the bolt. They'll roll in once again. BKB's going to pop out Cuckoo. Not to be coming in. Is he going to pop that double damage? He does, but now he's got to run over. He's getting burned out really hard by this Sunray. Goes into the trees. They've got the vision on the high ground thanks to that Cliff War. But now not he pops the BKB. They've got the exorcism. The damage! Exorcism was used! He didn't and get oh, Battle Trance. Off. That's it coming through. Karo trying to get the kill of Sunray on to both these heroes. Yopaj has the phone, so does Januel. And it's just this troll who try to fight against the world and can't win. Oh man, that was such a clutch play. I love what Neon did. They were hiding in the trees. They have high ground vision once again with that anti thinker ward. Yeah. Spike Carapace was used on a three second cooldown. They're trying to go for Roche. Jackie setting up with Carl in an interesting spot. They're going to blink into the Roche pit against Spike Carapace, but I don't think hit that Radiance. Jackie would love to have his BKB before the next fight. Just 100 gold away. Breathe fire. The apologies. My math is incorrect. Face shift again. Debeal trying to find the proper positioning. They're going to roll in. They've got the Dream Coil. They're going to kick Cuckoo out of the Dream Coil. They've got the damage onto the Dragon Knight. They'll get the kill. The 54 seconds without buyback. They're going to get the kill on a play hard. They look over with BKB behind and Natsumi. Looking over. Yules up into the air, but the roll comes out from Yopaj. Sunray burning down. Silence That's onto the first troll. Life. Not in and they first will life. get the kill. They can't get the first life out of the hands of this Wraith King, like you said. And Debeal will fall. Roche is there. Oh, God. I love when this happens. Wraith King just you know exorcism used they're gonna go out of the high ground here smoke behind them blink in dragon tail spike carapace they've got the stun on the cuckoo sun rain Take the tier three tower pop the lincolns Fire Blast coming in. Carl moving forward. They've got the Glimpse out of Play Hard, but now the Abyss Blade is going to be used out onto the Death Prophet. That's into the Static Storm. They've got the Battle Trance off, but it's into the Supernova once again. It's going to be a bad fight for Neon if they continue to fight into it. And Natsumi, he's in trouble. Supernova goes off. That hits on Yopaj, who rolls into the wrong time. Natsumi's dead. They get that kill on Natsumi. He's dead for 75 seconds. They're trying to get the kill on the Wraith King, but they lose Yopaj as well. They don't have buyback on either of those heroes. They pop back on Play Hard. Jackie still holding on to every single life in his hands. This and might be it. This might be the win for T1. Loses that there first is life. Not enough damage. Cuckoo. Oh, in the air. He ends up dead. But still, rest of the team very healthy. Uh, no Aegis on Wraith King. Uh, Death Prophet also used the cheese. Sounds. Holy Locket Next. on Phoenix. That's a lot of healing from that Sunray. By the way, Puck's fighting White Mon. Oh, can he kill him? Spirit Vessel, Waning Rift. That was a... This is really tough for them. They just have one set of racks left and Exorcism still going. They want to make a move in. They're actually on the back lines. They're looking for the duel with the Static Storm coming through, but can they get the kill on the Phoenix? They don't have the damage. Play hard. He's blown up. Supernova goes off. Yopaj already in deep, and he's going to die. They'll get the kill to play hard as well as Yopaj. They want the egg. It costs them through. They buy back. The battle trance is Yules, used, Yules. Yules up into the Evans air. Evans Halberd. Yeah. He's just No dead. chance. And GG is called. Neon will drop the game. T1 take the series. And with that, a lot of hopes on other teams are gone. A very, very well played game three for T1.